Well, he was um, diagnosed with cancer. We were supported by a team of people from Phyllis Tuckwell um, who provided counselling, um, help to liaise with our GP, the district nursing service, um, and just to really make sure that all the gaps were covered and to have someone independent who could talk to him about what was happening um, and what was going to happen and really to try and help him through his anxieties. As a carer, um, you do need to know what's there and what you might be able to access. It's not just about you know, the patient, who obviously is the focus of attention, but, you know, um, as the wife and the wider family, we were all supported. You know, it is a very long journey, and I'm only at the start of it, but um, the fact that Phyllis Tuckwell has introduced me to people who I would not otherwise have met and wouldn't have any real way of meeting um, has been great and importantly I think has um, involved me in other bereavement groups, coffee mornings and other things so it's just helping to create a new network to understand that perhaps what I'm feeling is not unusual and that there is hope so um, you know in a very sort of rounded way it's all been um, as positive as it could be from a very um, difficult situation that no one would ever want to be in. I started going to the coffee mornings just a few months after I lost my wife. I was getting, as I said, individual counselling until then. And um, so then uh, the counsellor said, well, we're doing mornings once a month up here. Uh, with counsellors available that might suit you. I came up straight away and I've been coming ever since. I found it, is, it was just what I wanted. I was talking to people in the same position as myself who had lost a loved one, who knew what it was all about, and the counsellors were there to help in any way at all. Uh, to, to say I enjoyed it is not the right word to enjoy it. I, I, felt, um, I felt better for doing it. Right, and I've still been going uh, for about two years now, right up to now. We were referred to um, Phyllis Tuckwell for counselling support for the children and because Sue needed someone other than myself to just talk to. It really isn't the, the person who's going through it that suffers, it's also the people that uh, love and care for her, I mean, particularly Katie and Ron and myself. Supporting through play, not through necessarily direct questions and through directly asking what is the problem. It's, it's all about play and understanding how, how they react to certain scenarios. We could speak to them, go there and, and get some solace. The most significant part of the work that I have done with Katie and Robert was or is having been able to work with them two, three years prior to Sue's death because that has enabled me to give them the strategies to cope when Sue did come into the hospice and was dying and, and since and they have coped much better with the loss of their mother I think because of the work that we were able to do beforehand. Being at school and knowing that well, one of the days during the week Claire would come and support us. It's really important that I know that Claire is there and so are my friends to support me around what's happened. 